Styles of teaching part two, small group teaching. Lecture objectives. What is small group teaching? Role of small group teaching. Learning outcomes achieved through the small group teaching. Advantages, problems, techniques used in small group work, implanting small group work, team-based learning, TPL, implementing a TPL. Now, what is small group teaching? Small group teaching has been a feature of educational programs for many years, particularly in the clinical context. Learner work together in a group, interacting to achieve common learning goals. A tutor may facilitate the work of a group or the group may be self-directed. Role of small group teaching. Small group teaching should be included in the teacher toolkit. Students working in small groups can master learning outcomes, not readily achievable using other learning methods. Learning outcomes achieved through small group teaching. Development of social, interpersonal, and communication skills such as listening and departing. The ability of students to work as a member of a team and to recognize the rules of other team members. Doctors need to work effectively as a team members. And the skill that enable them to do so should not be taken for granted. The ability for students to engage in problem solving, critical thinking, the analysis of a, com a complex issue, and refining their understanding. The fostering of skull required by students to cope with uncertainty. This reflects medical practice where issues are frequently complex and uncertainty not unknown, uncommon, sorry. In, you know, innovative thinking, creativity, and the development of new ideas. Deep learning with a more complete understanding of the subject rather than superficial learning, where there's an emphasis on memorization. Students reflecting on their own abilities attitudes and exploring far, further the concept of professionalism in medical practice. Also, student ability to take responsibility for their own learning. Advantages of small group teaching. It raises learning outcomes that are less easily met by other teaching methods. Impresses the fair principles of effective learning. It encourages active rather than passive learning. Provide learners with immediate feedback with regard to their understanding of the subject. Students find working in properly organized, engaging, and motivating small groups are encouraged to continue further with their learning. The approach does place demands on the students, but they find the less formal atmosphere of a group work more relaxed and conductive to learning. The experience may even be enjoyable. Small group work draws and builds on the experts and talent of the member of the group. 
the less effective and sufficient learner may learn from others in the group and improve their learning skills. Studies has, have shown that where a member of a group has addressed a problem, the result from a, the poorest group are invariably better than the result from the best individual student working alone. Now, what are the problems with small group teaching? Teacher may be less experienced in the role of facilitators in the small group setting. As a result, small group work deteriorates into many lectures. Small group teaching is considerably more difficult to manage than a lecture as more attention needs to be paid to individual students' behavior, personalities, and difficulties. Diversity in a group promotes very and interesting opinions, but it also has the potential to create conflict and may interfere with the proper functional of the group. Scheduling, scheduling the necessary number of rooms of small group teaching may present a logistical problem require a high teacher-student ratio. Also, students may not value what they learn in the small group work and may consider to be less effective compared with attending a lecture or reading a textbook. Now, what are the techniques used in small group work? Brainstorming, snowballing, Rule playing, journal club, tutorial, seminar, problem based learning, clinical teaching, team based learning. Implementing small group work, facilitating a small group in one of the most skilled tasks the teacher can undertake. The teacher has to guide the work of the group without dominating it and encourage the learner to interact. It's important that a teacher has an understanding of the small group process and the necessary facilitating skills. There should be a staff development program to help teachers acquire the skills involved. Before a small group activity, decide which approach to adapt and actively to include. Determine the composition and number of students in the group. Arrange the venue for the group meeting and seating arrangement. Create the right learning outcomes for the sessions. Sure that you are familiar with how small group session relates to the other learning opportunities available to the students. Plan the necessary resources. Pre the students in advance if you expect them to do some preparatory work or gain practical experience in the area prior to the small group sessions. During a small group activity, the group members should introduce themselves to each other and state their personal goals and expectations. Review the expected learning outcome and how these will be achieved. Establish the ground rules for working as a group. Create a positive atmosphere for students' learning Focus the group, the group on the task in hand. Encourage participation from members of the group by using open-ended questions. Listening to what is being said and responding. 
monitor the progress of each student in the group. Avoid being the center or focus of the small group activity and do not provide information that other members of the group can provide. Keep the discussion and the approach, approach appropriate sorry, level, not to be boring or over-challenging. Recognize the different roles group, group members play. For example, information provider or influencer and use this information to help the group accomplish the task. Recognize the different roles group members play. For example, information provider or influencer and use this information to help the group accomplish the task. Take all problems in the group such as a dominant, guardless and lazy learners by calling time out and asking the group how they want to solve the issue. Towards the end of the session, summarize what has been the group achieved and plan what is expected of the group before they next meet. They are, they next meet. After the small group activity, support any follow-up actions identified at the group meeting. They may include assess to further learning opportunities or communications online between group members, plan any further small group sessions if required, complete any student attendance sheets or student evaluation required, evaluate the small group session, for example, through student feedback forms, reflect on the experience gained by the students and yourself, and consider how the small group session might be improved if it has to be repeated. Team-based learning. Team-based learning is an approach to small group work that has been adapted in a number of medical schools and has shown to provide a positive learning experience for students. It's an active learning and small group instructional strategies that provide students with opportunity to apply considerable knowledge through a sequence of activities that include individual work, teamwork, and immediate feedback. As per et al. in 2012, TPL can be used with large groups of students divided into multiple small groups directed by one teacher. Implementing TBL, students preparatory work prior to the session include pre-readings, videos, lectures, and other learning activities. At the start of the session, students are assessed individually using a set of MCQ, the individual read readiness, readiness assurance test. The individual readiness assurance test, I read, the students are divided in, into teams in the classroom or lecture theater and following a discussion, answer the same I read questions and then receive immediate feedback on the team answer. The team readiness assurance test I read. The teacher clarifies the concepts relating to questions where students have difficulties. Students working in the same team are presented with a practical scenario or problem to which they have to provide answers. The team displays their answer to the whole class and the teacher and justify their response team application. T a P P. 
the teacher facilitates discussion about the answer and the team can challenge an answer designated to be best the appeal. A major difference from PBL is that TBL, one teacher is responsible for all the student groups who work in one location. In TBL, unlike PBL, students have a mandatory pre-class assignment. Thank you for your listening.